everyone, my name is Cara Cross and welcome back to the channel and today we are playing Aperture Desk Job. Now this is a game made by Valve in the realm of Portal. Um, it is sort of like a spin-off but it is in the universe of Portal um, in which you play uh, an entry-level worker at Aperture Science. Uh, now this is a game made and optimized for their new Steam Deck. However, you can play it with a controller. So that is what we are going to do today. I've heard good things. It's a short little game. I'm very excited about it because Aperture style games are just hilarious. I absolutely love the humor. So this is going to be an interesting take on this series, I'm sure. So let's go ahead and start. What's the buzzing for? Are you calling me? Am I calling you? Is this SOS? Is, this, is there Morse code going on? Because if someone has figured it out, please tell me what it is in the comments below. All right, let's go ahead and start. Welcome to the Aperture Science Competence Center. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, is that me? I'm Cave Johnson. Am I a most if gifted employee? This, you are exceptional. Thank you. No, don't be bashful. It's true. No thank you so much. Modesty. Let's get started. <laughs> this is so different from being like berated as being less than nothing in Portal. Look at all those tubes stretching off in the distance. Yep. Every one of them's taking something important to a genius. Machine who's learning. To all right. The world <gasps> all the cubes. A genius just like you. Oh. Huh. How are you going to change the world? Well, that's up to you. There's a History playground. We'll remember what you do here today. Do not let us, and by us, I mean and all then of us, all nukes of right underneath it. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. So Bombs right underneath that. You are about to take part in the greatest science adventure at the greatest applied sciences company on earth. This is important work, and you are Where's just my office? to do it. God I'm in the dungeon, tips. apparently. I'm giving you the opportunity to use them. I'm oh, in the storage. I don't mind telling you, we're excited up here. Moon landing excited. Newton, Einstein. Wait a minute, that's, <gasps> you. that's not right. I think I put the wrong tape in. Hold on. Good luck, world's best oh. science. Okay, here we go. Oh. You, in the overalls, get to work or you're fired. Dad, they don't give out overalls anymore. Anyway, my name's Grady. You can call Hi, me Grady. That. I mean... Let's do introductions later. Oh, I'm Surely Kara still anyway. Be... Honestly, I'm surprised you're not fired already. What did I do already anyway, to get fired? Uh, you are a uh, ba -ba -ba product inspector. Okay. That is your inspection desk there in front of you. You will be inspecting. Uh, okay. Uh, doesn't say. Anyway, something is going to come down the conveyor belt, whatever it is. Make sure it works. Once you've done that, keep doing that. That's the whole job. Anyway, Quality assurance, remember, okay. The important thing is to have fun on your own time before you come in. Otherwise, it's just, I don't, it's, it's real bad here. <sighs> it's fine. You'll probably be fine. Such good, good, such good prep, pep talks. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, we're filling it with water. All right. Oh, we're checking pressure. <laughs> okay. You know. For that really explosive time on the toilet, I guess. I don't even want to imagine that. Okay. Next thing. Oh, it's got a bidet. It's a fancy toilet. <laughs> and flushing. Hey, everything passed. Nice. And we do it again. Do we get to see what happens if something fails? Like, it leaks? Does it explode? Oh, please don't explode. All good. Why is there ammunition going across the top? That's a little terrifying. Please don't explode when this ammunition just right there. Dead gummit. I knew it. I, I left the volume down. Hold yeah, on. Zip zap zap. That is how you inspect the toilet. I hope you were paying attention because I'm not saying any of that twice. Look, it's mm. not rocket science. It's not even toilet science. Here's everything you need to know. See that light on the wall? If that light goes on, you're fired. <sighs> okay, good. You heard the important part. What? Wait, wait. Hold on. Have they all been smoking? No. You know what? It's not our job to test if the toilet's on fire, right? 
Just do your regular thing like normal. Move it down the line, and then it's somebody else's problem. Okay. I'm you really worried about it. Bad? I mean, your job is bad. Uh, Hold on, I'll, let me take a look. Uh, but it's not working. Yeah, keep testing it. I think there's a jam. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> Can you get me out of here, please? Thank you. Can you get me out of here, please? I, I, I. Nope, I'm just wet now. You're welcome. No, <clears throat> it's working. Keep doing that. I'm Oh Just no! Test it. Get it out of here. So, first off, I uh, have a lot of trouble here. You, now, you, I also you don't say we're going to be rich because I think you just admitted something. <laughs> what a gun! Okay. Here's what we're <laughs> going to do. I'm going to go work on this in secret. Just. You go back what? And He's gifting their enemy a toilet, like, <laughs> or bringing one onto the battlefield. I mean, just pretend the most you've ever. You know what? Just go back to work. Actually, that yeah, that works. I'll be back. Okay. I don't want to get fired. Yes. Uh, is more ammunition going to keep coming down though? That's what I'm not worried about. Oh, whoa, book. Okay, it's the end of the day. Oh no. That is a smart praying mantis. Six months later. Have I been doing this for toilets for six months? <laughs> Great. Awesome. Hey, I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. 270,100 uh, toilets. Awesome. Pretending to calibrate all those toilets. The best. Pretending? Right. Wait, what? This? What? Presenting... Pres presenting the Aperture Science Turret. Go on, take it for a spin. The controls are right there on your desk. Yeah, and I haven't even showed you the best part. Here's the best part. Oh Left boy. Left to open the wings, right stick to aim, and right shooting. You know what though? I mean, you're definitely going to kill yourself with it pointed at you like that. Yeah, so no. Let me just turn it around. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. <clears throat> right. Shoot again. Don't worry. Uh, I mean, we need to stop to ask ourselves. Sh should we? You almost died. Just insert uh insert the Jurassic Park quote here. Your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. I, look, I guarantee you're not going to get shot unless it ricochet. Wow! Holy moly, man! That is great. Oh man, the turret broke. That was the only one too. But don't even worry How about it. How is the red light not turned on? Am I not fired yet? Been working on. Ta-da! Introducing the Mark II. You've gone this too far. This is what I spent most of the six months on. It was one month for the first turret, and then like five for this bad boy. Well, why did oh, you man, start with this one? With this. Why show uh, me the first one if you made a better one? Into it. Are you taking the picture? Okay, good. Moment recorded for all the history books. Now for the fun part. You are going to take it for a spin. Here, let me turn it around. Okay, normally I'd walk you through everything, but I think you get it. Let's just open everything at once and see what happens. Okay, go crazy. All those controls do... Wow, right? Oh, this is great. This thing shoots so good. Okay, a part fell off. Keep going, though. Okay, quite a bit is falling off. Keep shooting. You're not doing this. This is a structural engineering problem. It's on me. You're doing great. Wasn't me. I didn't do it. Wasn't me. I didn't do it. I didn't do a thing. Wasn't me. <gasps> Oh no. Oh no. Wow. All right. That, so some of the stuff I put on there just didn't work. Most of it, like 90%, or even higher maybe. But. How am I not fired? Why is the red light not on yet? 
So all we have to do is keep the great stuff, and then we, then we can. So, okay, that's the police. Great, thanks. So, what have you done? One of us needs to streamline this turret, right? And one of us needs to take the fall for shooting up the warehouse. So you're taking the fall. Are, this is I'm running. Damage, and they're going to look into this. Which job? Which job do you want? How about I fix a turret and then you take? Yeah, I'll do that part. Remember, if anyone asks, you don't know me, okay? Don't say anything. What the? That's thinking cool. I made a whole living space. It's the best part of the game. Oh. Maximum security correctional facility. Ah. Hey. Well, I mean, wow. You are the best. You're welcome. Thanks for keeping your mouth shut and You're doing welcome. your time. Uh, I've I mean, not figured out how to move those things, by the way. Than either of us were expecting. I don't know what was in those boxes. How much blew time? Up, but they were, wow, were they mad. Anyway, I promise you're not going to regret this. Now let's get you out of here. Given that the offender has faithfully observed the rules of the institution, offender has been granted supervised early release. Nice, thank Inside you. I appreciate that. Inmates' possessions are as follows. Desk, one. Inmate must state their name. Oh, I, I, I get the... Name, then sign their name. I get to keep the desk? And I have it as a possession? State your name into the desk. Kara. Mouse to sign. Oh, this is gonna be weird. Sure. Yeah, that looks like my signature. <laughs> Not at all. Hey, don't listen to her. You don't need to worry about reporting to your parole officer. Guess who spent the last 18 months getting his probation agent license through the mail? Yep. Me, that's right. I'm your parole officer. I mean, not just you. Great. I mean, there's like seven guys on parole right now, but they're basically reintegrated back into society. Awesome. Well, not Tony. He's struggling be great. a little, but. Oh no, Tony. Anyway, that's all I was doing. I got something to show you. Let's get out of here. Okay. It is never too it's not going to go well. You are both free to go. Thank you. Oh, uh, bring your desk. Okay. How? Oh. Okay. Okay. I streamlined the turret while you were gone. Thanks. Introducing the Mark Three. So I'm worried. I'm. Ta da! Very so worried. So I got rid of all the parts that fell off and just kept the stuff that worked. I mean. Good idea. It was totally Very good idea. Engineered, so it just does one thing now. It shoots. It didn't need a satellite dish. That was just dumb. Keep it simple. Here, try it on these appliances I found. They were just lying around That's in right. the housewares research department in, in a locked room. In a locked room. Fantastic. Okay. It's just like. Oh! Left trigger. I like that tattoo on your neck. Did you do it yourself? It's what? Good. Is it a dragon what? holding a knife? It's nice. The more I look at the tattoo, the more I'm thinking. Oh, this is very sensitive. Because then we'd be tattoo bros. Anybody would look at us and know we are friends. These Man, do anything? That'd be so cool. Oh, speaking of being cool, I've got something even better to show you. Gyroscopic controls. It's really okay. Easy. Just pick up the desk, tilt it around to aim, and keep that thumb on the right thumbstick. And you shoot with the right trigger like normal. Go on, try it. Another tattoo idea I just had instead of a robot hand coming out holding a wrench. What if it was like a skeleton hand? You know, so you're looking at it like, what's he trying to say? Is he human on the inside? Does he have like a skeleton, <laughs> skeleton trapped in him? You know what? Skeleton arm tattoo. I decided that's the one I want. So when we get a free minute, I'll find a pen and we can heat up that lighter. All right, everything checks out. This thing is perfect. 
I think we're good to go here. So, I was saving the best for last, but while you were in jail, I got us a meeting to show our turret to Cave Johnson. That's right, the owner of the company. No pressure, but if he likes this, he's gonna make us rich forever. Are you ready? Let's go. What do you care about monetary value? You're a robot, I'm very confused. Okay. I'm very afraid to talk to Cave Johnson though. Hold the technological advances. I would live there, man. That's awesome. That's so cool. They have a spaceship as well. <gasps> uh, is there tally marks for how long I've been doing this? What are you gonna do with your share of the money? I know what I'm gonna do is pay off the money I borrowed to buy a desk, <laughs> a new one. I can immediately pay it off. Or I'll, I mean, whew, I'll be in some real trouble. How, how, how much Plus money the Vig, did, you, did you take? I'll have to pay that too. <sighs> Does it make sense to you that the Vig is more than what I borrowed in the first place? It doesn't seem like it. Holy, give me a fright. Somebody overrode the controls. Hold on. What's going on? Hello? That's one of the appliances I stole from housewares. Uh. It's got a gun. It's an ambush. Man, he got that turret good, huh? Good thing I brought a couple of spares. Oh, snap. Come at me, bro. I knew it. It's the housewares department. How did they find out about our turret? I can't believe it. They stole our idea and... Now they're gonna kill us with it. Housewares, man. We're never gonna stop ambushing us. I mean, it's not really an ambush anymore. We know they're coming, but I don't think they're gonna stop coming, though. We need to think of something else. Housewares, man. Can you believe it? Those guys are such pieces of. What did we ever even do to them? Uh, I stole all their stuff. That's what you did. Like, seriously, dude? What's up with that? Nice work. I got the elevator working again, but we have another 80 floors before we get to cave. We're not gonna survive 80 ambushes in a row. No, I don't. I don't think we would. Should have some buttons on the underside of it. Those fire the rockets that got built into the desk. They put those on there standard now for safety reasons. So. Automatic death launch. Here we go. We are going to launch. Ten. Nine. Set to Three, two, one. We have <laughs> off. Ooh! That's fast. How am I not dead? We just went through. Oh, I don't think it's gonna be very happy. Can okay, you get fired again? <laughs> I think we're good from here. Pretty sure I'm gonna, gonna get fired up. twice I now. So. Give it up by now. <sighs> okay. Let's go show this thing to Cave. Also, I do have one quick confession. I didn't actually get an appointment with Cave Johnson. I lied about that. But it turns out, I didn't know this. It this is how I died. Nobody's seen him in years. I did know it when I lied to you about our appointment, but it was still pretty new information. Anyway, I'm not gonna lie to you anymore. <sighs> Why do I feel like I that's a lie? Be a millionaire recluse now, so be ready for that there might be a lot of jars hello mr johnson uh hello let's just go in mr johnson are you here what happened hey hello there. oh snap. it's me Kate johnson no, no, not behind the giant head. I am the giant head. I'm gonna level with you. A few years back, I got real sick. Body riddled with disease. I was a goner. Threw every dollar I had at it. Told those eggheads, hey, eggheads, make me live forever. Now, 
I know what you're thinking. You gave the smartest engineers on earth a blank check to make you immortal. You got turned into this a giant stone head. They came up with a giant head. <laughs> Off by a mile. No. They figured out how to put my consciousness in a computer. That's what's in the giant head. Their first oh. plan was to put me in a regular brain sized computer. Then they'd put that in a robot body and hey, presto. Well, turns out you can't fit an entire human mind in a computer that small. All I could do was tell time and know what my name was. So they kept making it bigger. Big enough to cram every last bit of me into this thing. What happened to my robot body? I just realized it's the head somewhere all not actually stuff. there. Couldn't support the <laughs> screen. Weight. So the lab boys put me in the big head, switched me on, and uh, I don't know, I panicked. Killed a few of them. Said I'd kill more if they ever came back. Honestly, I, I regret that now. Yeah, because now they can't anyway, fix that the problem that they created, ago. right? Been trying to get somebody's attention ever since. Get their butts up here and end my suffering. Now, don't worry about me. That it's explains been a full that. Life, but we're done here. I'm itching for the next step. Heck, I'm excited about it. Okay, what's the next don't step? Don't think of it as killing me. You're breaking me out of prison. I'm just data now. I need you to crack this big clay head open so I can spill out into the universe. So, what do you two eggheads got? Uh, you, uh, Why do I feel like this scene go really badly? We came up here to show you our new invention. Good stuff. Let's see it. Show him, partner. Well, I'm waiting. Well, I get it. It feels weird to shoot at the boss, but it's what he wants. You showing me something or what? Whoa, that'll work. I'll be honest, I thought you were too lunatic to drag the toilet. This feels very wrong. We need Just... to find his weak spot. Oh no. What? You are made of metal, sir. So shoot the metal. Source. Could have done that from the beginning. Oh, here we go. Powering down. That's terrifying. Nine. That is terrifying. Boy, I'll, I'll give you two credit. That is one hell of an invention. You did it. You figured out how to end my suffering. All right. Suffering ended in three... Uh. What if I feel like it didn't work? Battle Hello? Power activated. Of course. Uh, you're both fired. I'm gonna need your key cards. Just lay them down in front of the head. Not too close to the chin or I won't be able to see them. Uh. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, where's the dropping to? Not on the praying mantis civilization. Anything but that. No, go down. We must save them. It just keeps going. You, know you can what? hear it falling more and more. It just occurred to me that the only person who knows Cave Johnson asked us to kill him is now dead. Yeah. What do you think? Do you know what you think of that sooner? Is? They told us in parole. And I'm on system, parole! <laughs> you're not gonna like this. Uh, it's life. Yeah. Your whole life in, in prison. prison. Yeah. We should. Yeah. We, we, we should. And considering I'm on parole, you. I won't get a chance you. for parole in the future either. Guaranteed. It's gonna be like double life. No! No! Morning, Charlie. Morning. It's me, Gary. Gary, your boss. Keep inspecting those toilets. Good work, good stuff. Good. Hey, it's just me, Grady. Yeah, just like yesterday. Man, Couldn't tell. this witness protection program is great. I don't know why we didn't turn state's evidence against those loan sharks in the first place. We don't have to pay any of the money back. 
We got cool new names. I like Gary. yours a lot, by Ryan, the way. Thanks. And which one? What's mine? You know, come to think Are of you it, Gary? Who am I? They'd move us to another state. Oh, he got the skeleton hand. <laughs> Feels like everything is exactly the same, except our first names. Ah, you know what? They know what they're doing. Anyway, yeah, I was gonna say, why are we still in the tomorrow, same place, Charlie. not in a safe place? Charlie. Okay. Awesome. Fantastic. Life is grand. Look at all the toilets. He's still alive. I'm singing beautifully. It actually moves. Oh, that's even more terrifying. Whoa. Oh, that's the thing the praying mantis made. Mantis colony made. Oh, one of my favorite things from Portal is the singing turrets. So like this now. Like a continuation of that. Oh, is that it? Oh, I wanted more! Oh, man. I'm digging the music. Like I said, one of my favorite parts of Portal. Portal 2? It's like Portal 1 and Portal 2 even has GLaDOS singing both, so... And I assume this takes place before Portal 1 or 2, so it's like... This was the lead up to the actual turrets that get made, I assume. Guess Gary went out and just continued his work in witness protection. Oh! Something still fell off and broke. It's not a cake, though! It's like jello. I'm disappointed. Oh, that was great. I love that. That was so good. And there he's got the buzzing continues. Um, <laughs> it was very short and sweet. Obviously something meant to show off the Steam Deck and sort of its capabilities with all the different controls and the uh, gyroscope in it, which fortunately I'm using a PlayStation controller. So it has that built in so it still works that way. I'm excited to see what more games they create with the Steam Deck and if we're able to continue to play it with uh, just a controller, especially if it's stuff that Valve is creating because I absolutely love their games. Portal is some of my favorite series just because of the humor and the whole puzzle of it all. So it's cool seeing this sort of desk simu work simulation game, I whatever you want to do, but of course it's Aperture, so it takes a weird turn as it always does. And uh, hopefully we'll get a Portal 3 at some point because I think that would also be cool. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so that you don't miss the next one. But until then, take care.